Hey, so welcome to my first reaction video. I am going to be reacting to Dimash, Love is Like a Dream Today. Now, this isn't the first time that I have heard of Dimash uh, or heard this song, so just in case that you only want to watch people that have never seen Dimash before, um, uh, but I still uh, am a really big fan of Dimash and I have a lot to say about his performance, so let's get into it. Dimash Kudaibergen. Я в глаза твои, как в зеркало смотрюсь. Mm, okay. All right, so right off the bat, Dimash is at this really small, uh, almost disconnected part of his voice, and it's really low in his range as well. Um, and to be able to pull that off with that much control uh, is astounding. Отражение потерять свое боюсь. Не хочу, чтоб я лишь костен был В сумраке ночей и в судьбе твоей Я люблю тебя, как любят жизнь не раз Словно солнце в мире не было Okay, so now he's getting into much more of a a singy sound, I would say. Before he was almost in like this breathy, disconnected vocal fry, right? Um, but now he's getting a lot more connected. It's still pretty light and almost breathy, but there's definitely a lot more connection to his modal register uh, in this part of the voice. <laughs> И ключи от счастья для тебя нашел, для тебя нашел. Любовь похожая на сон, сердце с хрустальных пересвон, твое волшебное. Okay, so sorry to stop again so soon, but here he's also in like a lighter, like mixy chest coordination. Um, it's still like really soft, really light and breathy, but you see like how this is a lot more connected and you can hear his vibrato starting to roll out a lot more in this and so beautiful, so beautiful. <laughs> Я тихим эхом повторю Любовь, похожая на сон Счастливым сделала мой дом Но вопреки законам сна Пускай не кончится Perfect. Absolute perfection. He can just, he has the perfect amount of breath for every single note he's singing. It astounds me. I wish I had that. <laughs> Okay, okay, I gotta stop it again there. So, for the first part of the song, he managed to stay at this really soft, uh, subtle, almost disconnected, as I mentioned, voice. 
and he stayed there for so long, but now he's digging in a little bit more into his chest voice. His sound is getting fuller, his timbre is rich and deep, and absolutely beautiful. Placement. Okay, I gotta stop it again right there because that one note is one of my favorite parts about this performance. Uh, it's really small, but as he's holding out the note, he opens his mouth just ever so slightly more and more and his vibrato starts getting faster, louder, and just so much more powerful and rich. And it's this beautiful, subtle, subtle little difference that makes, but it really adds to the song and it really shows how much of a master he is at controlling his voice. <laughs> Wow. Okay, okay, gotta stop there again. That, that is my absolute favorite part of this song. And I'm gonna tell you why, because, so we know he starts really small and soft through the majority of the song, but then once he gets to here, he really opens up with his power and his tone and, you know, right up there in the high baritone tenor range. So full, operatic, and beautiful, and it's like the sun comes up on like a cloudy day and everything is just zingy and bright and it, it just, I don't know, it just feels like this just symbolizes so much for the song as well, because he's telling a story here. And I think that's what I respect most about Dimash is every song, every note, he paints a picture. And with his voice, he can paint it however he wants. And he takes you for a ride, and he gives you an experience. And this song is, is one of those great experiences. So we'll get back to it now. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know how he does this, like the amount of control he has to switch immediately from a chest, and he, he's like keeping his mouth open the entire time as anything, and then he just lands up in this perfect, perfectly pitched, perfectly placed, perfectly supported head voice, falsetto, whatever you want to call it. I'm no expert. Uh, outstanding. <laughs> His tongue and his mouth doesn't move at all. There's no tension anywhere, which is something that I definitely struggle with. I think a lot of other beginners in this too.
uh, there is the classic Dimash contrast of his voices that just blows you out of the water and makes you wonder, where is this guy from? He's not human, there's no way. And, wow. Wow, definitely one of my favorite performances. Uh, such, such a beautiful tone throughout. Um, for the most part, he stays in that beautiful, you know, bel canto operatic place. Uh, and then he goes to the really forward, mixy, uh, head voice kind of deal, and wow, there's just, there's so much to say about Dimash. I, let me know if you like these reactions at all, uh, if I should do more of Dimash. I mean, I would love to do more of Dimash. I'm probably going to do some more anyways, just because I love them. So, uh, see ya in the next video. Thanks for watching.